And if the plaintiffs in this case in Connecticut win, at the very least, this could be a symbolic a victory for other mass shooting victims. But it is going to be a huge challenge for the plaintiffs to get around a federal law that protects gun makers and sellers from liability. Past lawsuits similar to this one have failed, including one here in Colorado after the Aurora Theater shooting. The parents of Aurora victim Jessica Gawi sued the online dealer that sold ammunition to James Holmes, but a Colorado judge dismissed their case. Now, there are some exceptions to the federal law, and in the Sandy Hook case, the plaintiffs are arguing that the gun manufacturer, Remington Arms, broke state law by selling a military weapon to civilians. So that exception may be considered. We'll be watching this case very closely, and some actually think that the recent spate of mass shootings could have an influence here. A lot of amicus briefs have been filed in this case, including trauma surgeons who worked on Aurora shooting victims. They have lent their support to the plaintiffs in the Sandy Hook case. But in the end, this may very likely go to the Supreme Court, the U.S. Supreme Court. And have much more mm -hmm. uh, widespread yeah, effects. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay.